she's gone to work so that is also another reason why I am hacking up there as well but I do normally sometimes go and hire the sound school and I do always just hack up there I only really use the trailer if it's horrible weather um, or something like that so I do need to muck out in a minute my lesson is at quarter past 12 so I'll leave about quarter to 12 I'll get there for 12 and then I've got 15 minutes to go and see the people that I'm going to um, be in the lesson with. So you guys might be wondering what have I got on? Now this coat is an Equifine and I 100% recommend them. Dan's coming out now because he's just finished breakfast. You want to be on the vlog? what he was doing then he could have gone around but no he wanted to be in the vlog so sorry guys dan obviously wanted to be in the vlog now before later but anyway so these are amazing i've had mine for just over a year and they keep you so warm so dry and clean as well when you want to stay clean um so they come in all different colours now. When I first got mine, they only done the black and the navy. But they do loads of different colours. Pink, hunter green, peacock, like a um, plummy burgundy colour. Loads. Grey with the pink fleece inside and then grey with this grey inside. Go and check them out. They are the Equidries. They don't just do these. They also do jumpers and hats. I haven't checked out the jumpers yet, but I would really like to because I just love the quality of these. Not only that, you can ride in them. So when it is a horrible day and it's pouring it down and it's freezing cold and it's kind of putting you off for riding, but you know that your ponies or horses need to be exercised, these are where these, this is where this comes in. So you zip the zip down, you have these little leg straps you put these around your leg that isn't very good and then you do the other one just demonstrate and then you have a zip here hang on well it helped out not doing it very well you have a zip here that you pull up so then you attach these around your legs and then you get on and the back of you is all dry and this keeps you nice and warm and you can pull the zip back down you can even jump in these i know a lot of people when it's a competition and it's pouring it down they have these on while they're warming up to keep them dry and then they take them off just before they go in to do their course you've also got an inside pocket here you've got a zip pocket here to keep your phone in when it's pouring it down and you don't want your phone to get wet don't worry it's all good also have another pocket here you have a hood which also goes over your riding hat i haven't done that because 
I just haven't. Um, but I've seen a lot of people do it and I absolutely love them. So today is dry, but it's early in the morning, it's really misty across the valley and I am cold. So this, I am now lovely and warm with my extra dry on. So I 100% recommend them and now it is starting to get a lot colder and it's going to be raining very soon then you just need one of these these are the best they start from all sizes they start from three to five years all the way up to extra extra large and i just absolutely love mine my vlog i don't know a week or two weeks ago when i went show jumping and i ended up not doing the 70 because of the weather i did have my equa dry on while I was watching people and it just kept me so nice and warm and dry um, and loads of other people <laughs> Dawn, you want to be in the vlog as well? <laughs> um, loads of people had them on as well and was just saying how warm they are and how dry they were and the people that didn't have an equa dry yet was just like I so wish I had one of them because they just look so warm and dry so please, please go and check them out because they'll definitely help you out in the winter. So guys, enough of me talking now. I'm going to crack on and muck out both of the stables. I'm not going to show you guys because I've shown you it in my last vlog and also in my morning routine and evening routine. So if you would like to go and watch me muck out, then go back to both of those vlogs and you will be able to see me. So I'm just going to crack on and yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Guys, time it is 20 to 11, so I need to walk across, bring Danny over because I, in an hour's time, I've got to be on and leaving. And Dan, this morning when he walked out, his tail was covered in shavings. He's going to need a really good brush because for the pony club, and not just for the pony club, at all times, you should make sure that yourself is clean and tidy, and the same as with your horse, and that's what your pony club likes to see because you are representing your pony club. Instructors are teaching all different pony clubs and obviously there's gonna be that one pony club that might not look so good as the others. So we wanna make sure that our pony club is represented well and we all look clean. And to be fair, every single one in our pony club never looks dirty, we're always clean, which is so good. So I'm gonna walk across get him in, take his rug off, give him a good brush, brush through his mane, get all the shavings out of his tail and then tack him up. I'm pretty easy, I'm keeping these navy jumpers on. You are meant to wear beige jumpers but they do allow you to wear navy jumpers but you couldn't just turn up with say burgundy jumpers. It either has to be navy or beige. I do wear beige jumpers but today I've decided to wear my navy ones which are toggy and I also underneath this I have my white shirt on with my tie because you are meant to wear a tie. I do wear sometimes a shirt with the long sleeves when it gets a lot colder but during the summer I just wear a polo shirt which I don't know if you, no, you can't see um, which I'm still wearing now because it's still quite warm and Danny um, just wears a navy num num because with the pony club you can only wear certain colours, so it's like neutral colours like navy, black, white or brown. You're allowed to wear any colours like that, but you wouldn't be able to rock up with the Lemur Chili or Ice Cream Numna for a lesson. 
but you do you can get a pony club number which i do have you don't have to wear it every single time so if for some reason one weekend i wanted to wear a brown number for a pony club lesson i can but we i have brought my pony club number today because i do think it looks really smart i'll also be wearing my pony club jumper with my badges on that you guys will see in a minute and danny will be just wearing his brushing boots because we're not jumping but we are going to be doing pole work and like i said in other vlogs we do always wear boots so sorry guys if i'm talking really fast but i'm in a rush so i'm going to go and get him in <laughs> You might have noticed a few times me putting my hat on. Dan, chill. That I have like a little green turquoise, whatever colour you want to do it. And you might be wondering what it is. So basically, when you're in a pony club, you have to have your hat tag to say that it's up to standard for pony club. And also, <laughs> and also, like when you go to competitions, so like Victon, all over the place, when you do like pony club areas and things. You've got to have your hat tagged by the pony club. Now, I did used to have a purple one, but now it's turquoise. If you guys are in the pony club, you might have a different colour. But basically, it's my pony club tag. I know as well that if you're registered as BE, you've got to have one for BE as well. And the same as riding clubs. So basically, that is what it's for. So I'm all ready. Dan just needs his bridle on. I need to put everything away. Oh, I've just remembered. I need to put my high vis on put everything away and then i'm gonna get so on. guys i've just got on me and dan are now on route i need to pull my collar out i'll do that in a minute so i will see you guys when i finish my lesson my mum is planning to be there once she's finished work um but i'll get the other mums to film because my mum isn't the best at filming so i'll see you guys when i finish <laughs> videos and today has been interesting that's all i'm gonna say so danny was so full of it like i went in there i went for a trot he was just so strong he was pulling my hands out i was sponging with my brains to try and get him into an outline so that he was listening with me and he was just like no heads up in the air not listening to you then I went for my first canter and he bucked with me all the way around the arena and I'm so annoyed because my mum was sorting out the wings, she was taking them out because we didn't have a jumping lesson. 
so she didn't see it and didn't film it which is so annoying because whenever Danny does buck with me we always miss it on camera and I would really just like a video of him bucking with me because it's so funny but yeah he bucked with me all the way around um and I can just remember Zara going sit back sit back and then everything was all fine and then yeah he was just so fast and so strong so then Zara was like right take your feet out the stirrup she was like you might be all right with that because I've got longer legs you know when I haven't got my feet in the stirrup so I'd done that she was like right go for a trot I went for a trot he took off of me <laughs> then she was like right put your feet back in the stirrups the other two continued without their stirrups and I just had to ride with my feet in the stirrups I was doing so many 20 meter circles to try and get him listening to me it was kind of ridiculous he was just not listening to me he was enjoying it way too much he was just so fast like my riding was horrendous how Danny was looking with his head up in the air was horrendous definitely wasn't what I wanted my riding wasn't the best and how Danny was looking going around just looked terrible but I hope you've enjoyed please make sure that you like and subscribe and look out for my next video and I'll see you all next time bye